This is a pretreatment workshop of the fully continuous waste tire pyrolysis equipment. Now we are processing whole tires. This is a whole tire striking area. Let's go forward. The tire needs to be cut into this kind of rim first. Then it goes through a trunking machine to cut it into small pieces. After that, it will stored in the material warehouse for feeding later. Let's take a look over here. Under the silo is an input device. This rubber block will pass through this input belt to the powder processing equipment. This is a double line equipment. It can process about 40 to 50 tons of powder each day. Let's move forward. After that, we separate the material through the belt above. They are sifted into these two silos. Then the rubber blocks pass through the vibrating feeder into the rubber powder processing equipment. The rubber powder machine has a vibrating screen inside. The ground rubber powder and small steel wire fall to the lower layer of the screen. And the large rubber block and the large steel wire continue to be fed through the calculation of the belt. The ground rubber powder will go through magnetic separation to screen out the steel wire inside. Finally, through the air transportation system, it is transported to the large warehouse. Due to the dusty nature of the powder, we made a seal treatment. The produced rubber powder passes through the lower discharging scraper and elevator to convey it into the higher places. Then it is transported to another plant, the pyrolysis plant.